we want to evaluate this determinant. So how exactly do we want to go about doing that? Well, to begin with, I want to rewrite it so that we can I can draw all over it and make it look gross. Um, I need to determine which column is the best column to expand the determinant about that el those elements. And I want to find one that's got the most zeros in it. So the third column has two zeros in it. So I want to expand the determinant around this last column. Now remember, what that means is, so if I'm going to set the, do the first column, I'm going to have zero is going to be the first. I'm going to do zero, and then I'm going to find the determinant of, so what I am, remember that's the first column, so I'm going to knock out this row and this column, which then gives me minus 3, minus 5, 1, and 2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this so that we can look at the next one. So I'm going to have 6 minus 3, 1, 4 minus 5, 2, 0, 3, and 0. So now what I need to do is the next number that I have is going to be a minus. Now how do I know that? If you remember, it's plus, minus, plus minus plus minus and plus minus plus when you have your signs. So it's going to be a minus 3 and since I'm doing that column right there, now remember so it's the third one here is what I'm looking at so I knock out this row and this column which then leaves me with 6, 4, 1, 2. So now what about the last one? Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to redraw it because I want to make sure that you can see it. So I've got 6, 4, 0, minus 3, minus 5, 3, 1, 2, 0. So this time I'm going to be the last place, which is a 0. So it's going to be plus 0. And now I'm going to knock out that row and the column in which it's in, which is going to give me 6, 4, minus 3, minus 5. So what I need to do now is I'm actually going to solve each one of those. So you're going to go across and multiply. So why don't you do that, come back and check your answer. Okay, so this should have been a really quick one to do because hopefully what you noticed is that the first one had a zero and then the third one had a zero. So anything times zero is zero. So I just needed to actually find the determinant of the middle term which gave me minus 24.